Welcome to Low Carb Movie Plots. I'm your host, Kay Zerk, and today we are covering American Me. American Me is a 1992 American crime drama film produced and directed by Edward James Olmos, his first film as a director, and written by Floyd Mutrux and Desmond Nakano. Olmos also stars as the film's protagonist, Montoya Santana, loosely based on mob boss Rodolfo Cadena. It depicts a fictionalized account of the founding and rise to power of the Mexican Mafia in the California prison system from the 1950s into the 1980s. The film depicts 30 years of Chicano gang life in Los Angeles. It focuses on Montoya Santana, a teen who forms a gang along with his friends, J.D. and Mundo. They are out looking for trouble when J.D. gets shot and they are all arrested. In Juvenile Hall, Santana murders a fellow inmate, who had oil checked him, and as a result, has his sentence extended into Folsom State Prison after he turns 18. A few years later, a now older, Santana has become the leader of a powerful prison gang, La M. May. And upon his release, he tries to relate his life experiences to the society that has changed so much since he left. La M. May has become a feared criminal organization beyond Folsom, selling drugs and committing murder. But still, with his busy schedule, Santana begins a romantic relationship with a woman named Julie, but she becomes repulsed by his violent tendencies and La M. May's negative influence on their community. It did not help that on their first date he oil checks her. Yeah, not leaving a good impression with the oil checks. We then start to see all the negative consequences of Santana's actions reaching his family. So Santana begins to see the error of his ways, but before he can take action, he is sent back to Folsom for drug possession. There, he tells JD, that he is no longer interested in leading La M. May. However, following a precedent set by Santana himself earlier in the film, his men, including Mundo, murder him to show the other prison gangs that despite having no leader La M. May is not weak, and will not tolerate anyone leaving the gang. He is fatally stabbed and thrown off the balcony to his death. Which is by far the best part of the movie. Julie receives a letter from Santana, thanking her for opening his eyes, and his necklace of Saint Dismas. Julie gives the necklace to Santana's teen brother, Paulito, who then inducts a young boy into La M. May, by having them commit a drive-by shooting. And that's how the movie ends. The movie is basically an anti-gang film. There is nothing glamorous about this movie. It's all cringe. At no point did I think, oh, gangs are cool. Nope, not once. I give this movie a rating of 1 out of 5 stars. It is not really entertaining, and I think the idea was that teachers in East Los Angeles would play this movie on rainy days. The legend Edward James Olmos, has better movies under his belt, that I hope to review in the future. Until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.